<laughs> Good morning, reptilians. <laughs> I never mind. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. You sound this, like you're being held hostage. This is Elle's Reptiles, and I'm Den. I got it. It's fine. Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle. And I'm Den. And this is Elle's Reptiles. For this super short Wednesday video, we are building a snake enrichment board. So the board was made of wood. And pegs? What is it you wanted me to say exactly? An enrichment board is a board so that your reptile <laughs> can experience enrichment. An enrichment board is basically a giant piece of wood with a bunch of pegs and tubes and random things on it that you can put your snake on and let them explore and slither around and just have something to do outside of their tank. Mm -hmm. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out more about this awesome company. Let's get started. For this enrichment board, we went to Home Depot and that's where we bought the wood. So the main part of this enrichment board is the big wooden board. I was worried that this was gonna be very expensive because wood is pretty expensive, but Home Depot has an entire section of pre-cut four foot by two foot boards and this one was only about $22, so it wasn't that bad. You can use whatever you want to for the climbing portion of the board, uh, that being rocks or pegs, we use pegs. And for the tunnel system, we use PVC pipes. I've also seen instances where people use the rock climbing handles. That's an option too. They were just very expensive and this was the more inexpensive expensive route to go. Okay, so before we start putting any kind of pegs or anything on this board, I wanted to make sure that it was super sturdy. So I found these little triangles, these metal triangles in the closet and storage section. And I got a few of them because I figured we could put them on the front because the back of the board will be leaned up against the wall and these on the front of the board will prevent the snake's body weight from tilting this whole board forward. I also played around with the idea of putting a chain on the back and a hook on the wall, which I might still do that in the future. And then we can prep the pegs. But there are two different sizes here. These came from Hobby Lobby. And we're just gonna... Putting these on here is a super straightforward process. We just lined everything up where we wanted it, made sure that there was an area for these snakes to climb, and just used all different types of pegs and these little ball egg things with flat spots and these little nodules. And I put them on with Gorilla Wood Glue. At this point is when I should have been screwing these to the board while the glue was drying, but we got super distracted and did not do it at that time. So later you'll see I'm putting more glue on while I screw them in, but normally you just need one layer of glue and then put the screws in and that way it'll hold nice and tight. And the pipes for the snakes to crawl in is held on with just screws, so there's no wood glue on those, obviously. But they are held in with several different screws each, just to make sure, again, that everything is sturdy. And at this point, it was basically done, but it just looked super boring and plain to me. So I decided to actually go back and paint all the different pegs. Non-toxic. This non-toxic acrylic craft paints. The whole point of this board is to provide enrichment and providing colors, different colors is a good way to do that. So I went through and just painted it a whole bunch of different colors. If I were to do this project over again, I definitely would have painted all of these pieces before I put them onto the board. And this is my finished board. The super cool thing about these is you can put whatever you want on these and they can look however you want, but this is how mine worked. And now to let these snakes explore. So let's watch these snakes climb.
and that is it that is all that we have for this video as i said at the we had so much fun building them as I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is a super cool company that makes conversion kits that are on this tank back here to convert any tank that you may have into a front opening tank. These are especially good for arboreal animals. That was one of the funnest tanks we've made. These things are super durable and it's crazy easy to install. They go in with just a line of silicone and you just let that dry, let it air out and you're good to go. It's beautiful. Make sure if you do order one of these, you leave Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box. That way they know that you guys are coming from here. And thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring the video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I have a video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. That's this day. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye. Uh, activating specific parts of the brain and so they don't go brain dead and stuff. <laughs> yeah, just this entire video is just gonna be me silent and then the bloopers is gonna be all of my lines that are cut. <laughs>